we went to um, Hawaii, one of, one of my first jobs, all that way. I'd never been on a plane before. Actually, I went once to Scotland, but I've never, that's the second time I've ever been on an aeroplane. And it was, it was, we did two weeks in New York and two weeks in San Francisco and um, for English Vogue. And then we went to Hawaii for American Vogue and um, stayed at this lovely hotel. I've never seen luxury like this. Um, the only way is on the beach and the only way into it was a private plane. It had its own airport, no, trips, no, no roads into it or anything. Just everything was brought in by boat and plane. So we were in this little private plane and landed and I, thought, I couldn't believe this. There's a lovely reception area, all open, straw, thatched roof and all the little huts were on the beach. <coughs> and at dinner that night, Bailey said to the guy that ran it, a Swedish guy, 27 year old Swedish guy. Um, and um, um, Bailey said, I've got a swimsuit to shoot tomorrow. Is there a lagoon nearby? And um, he said, yeah, this one up the coast about a mile. He said, I've got, we've converted a fishing boat for our guests, so I'll take you myself. So we, he said, I want to be up before the light comes up. So we all get in the thing at five o'clock in the boat and off we go. And um, here's the beach here and there's the boat going here. And um, there's the horizon over here. And I was sitting at the end of the boat and the sun came up. We all turned golden. And I'm sitting at the end of the boat and I had my hand in the water and it was turquoise and it was like a bath. It was so warm. And I looked across at these, at the hotel with all the little things, beach huts. And then behind that, there was Jurassic Park. And I thought, I've arrived. I thought, God, I've arrived. You know, if it doesn't get any better, this is, you know, nothing ever happens to me again. I mean, this is the best thing I've ever, it's ever happened to me. And then suddenly, about uh, 15 minutes later, everything went dark. So, of course, we all look across to the sun to see that maybe a cloud's gone across the sun. But it wasn't a cloud. It was a, a wave about 60 foot high just coming towards us. Silent as the grave. It was about sort of 200 yards away. And everybody's looking till it. We were still holding on to the boat and everybody turns white. It's coming closer and closer, and we're still about 400 yards from the sea, from the um, the um, uh, beach. So the beach was there in the hotel, and we were going along like this, and this wall of water about 60 foot high was coming up like this. And I know it sounds corny, and I say this in my talks when I give them, that when in London, about two months before we left, I saw this movie called High Wind in Jamaica. It's about galleon chips and pirates and everything. And in the film, there was a galleon, and there was a tidal wave. I remember it distinctly. And it was going towards the boat, and the captain told the boat to turn the boat into the wave so you can ride over it. And I remember saying, I remember that. And this guy that took us was just a manager. He didn't know anything about boats. He just turned it and just drove it there and drove it there. And I said, turn the boat into the wave. I screamed to him, turn the boat into the wave. So he started turning it, and the wall came like this, and he turned the boat like that. And as it got there, we went up like this. And everybody fell to the bottom of the boats, the tripod, the camera cases, makeups, and people's legs and arms and all crashed to the bottom of the boat. We got to the top. It seemed like forever to get to the top. It's probably about five seconds, ten seconds. We got to the top, went over the top like that, and then down the other side at a ski slope like 100 miles an hour. Everybody fell to the front of the boat this time. And it was just chaos, absolutely chaos. And we, we slid down and the boat was rocking. We got to the bottom and it was rocking. Everybody was holding each other because people were falling in and we were dragging them back out. And... Um, Somebody said, did, that, did I dream that? Tell me I dreamt that. Did I, did I dream that? And we all said, no, no, that actually happened. And we looked up and there was another one. This time it was 30 foot high. We went over that and then there was another one 10 foot. They come in threes, everything. So, um, so we all went back to the hotel and stuff and, and uh, it was all a bit of a shock and stuff. But um, cut to three months forward now in London. I'm in London at a dinner party up in Hampstead. And there's a table of about 12 people around. I knew some of them. And this old lady across the table said to me, Mr. Swanell, I heard about Hawaii. And I said, um, oh, yeah. She said, yeah. She said, that tidal wave of you. And my God, you could have all been killed. Now everybody puts their knives and forks down. I said, you were in a tidal wave? I said, yeah. It was, it was. I said, God, weren't you frightened? I said, it's too, it happened too quickly. I said, to get frightened. And then she said, yes, thank God. You know, thank God Bailey was with you. I said, how's that? He said, if he hadn't turned that, turn, told the guy to turn the boat into the wave, you'd all be dead now, wouldn't you? <laughs> so he had his story. <laughs> it was going round and I had my story. I said, yeah, okay. I didn't say anything. <laughs> so that was a, a you know, a wonderful story. <laughs>